and show you how that goes. We ordered otakos, which is not otakos, French tacos. Uh, we sometimes like this, sometimes. It's so rare, I don't remember yeah. the last time we had it. Oh shit, really? Don't steal it. Okay? Good! It's a brick of fatty foods. So I chose inside. I chose kebab meat and marinated chicken, and there's fries and cheese. There's cheese in there or no? Not sure. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, for sure, there's uh, fries, meat, and sauce. So the sauce I chose is my favorite Algerian and some harissa because I want spice spice. Even though yesterday I was dying from eating that Korean noodles, very spicy Korean noodle. I had really bad tummy ache after that, but I still want spicy today because I never learned from my lesson and I cannot live without spice, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me take a bite. Show you. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It tastes good. The meat is good. Is there any vegetable at all inside? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. I think some vegetable would be good. Some onion would be nice. Yeah. Mm. You can add actually. La, why you didn't ask me? Hmm? Why you didn't ask me? It's one year old per vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I gave you the original. Hey guys, today is Sunday, super lazy day, gotta be honest, after the party, um, the birthday party we went to last night, I came home earlier and I played Fortnite with my friends the whole night. Fortnite had recently re <laughs> released a new game mode in collaboration with LEGO. It is super fun and addictive. It's really your lego and you're building lego but it's a survival world so you can start your camp become a village become a community and then you explore and figure stuff out it's it's so dynamic the weather changes you have to adapt you have to survive you have fun with your friends um crafting and uh, just building stuff it's just really really so much fun i i love it so i've been really obsessed over this game and me and my friends have been pretty obsessed too oh uh, yeah so played that all night so i woke up pretty late today and uh, pretty much just chilled stayed at home doing a thing amelie on the other hand she went for a bingo with her co-workers i was supposed to go but because i was so tired i slept so late I didn't go, but yeah, I mean, she had a really good time. She won something. She won bingo. She won a set of combs for the hair. So, yay. Something she can use. I can't use it anymore. <laughs> I'm having some spicy chai, which is the spiced tea with, that has like uh, this black tea with cinnamon and ginger. It's really cool. I love it. <sighs> Sometimes I treat myself with this. Christmassy warm feeling, you know. So, talking about Christmas, let's go back. 
I want to go back to like the beginning of me celebrating Christmas because obviously I was born uh, a Muslim I was born into a Muslim family and so we never really celebrated Christmas but Malaysia is pretty open in the sense where you know we still had a lot of Christmas decorations around because obviously Islam is not the only religion in the country we always enjoyed um, looking at all the Christmas lights and decorations around the city around the malls I've always liked it like I watch a lot of Christmas movies I listen to a lot of Christmas songs because mostly they're jazz and I love jazz probably a fact that you don't know about me is that I love jazz and I love jazz I think at a pretty young age I think I was 17 and I started listening to jazz already it's about the music it's about decorations it's about the meaning of it you know getting together gathering the family and friends and eating good food I know it's similar to a lot of other celebrations obviously Eid is the same but somehow Eid gives me chaotic vibes you know it's like super super big celebratory big noises and sounds and a lot of moving around and you they love to visit every person's house during e like christmas is more like chilled even from the music itself you could hear that it's chilled and then you just stay at home and open presents you know they are very very personal to each person when you exchange gifts so like eat for example in Malaysia we just get the older ones to give uh, money <laughs> money packets money envelopes to younger people so money is not really personalized you know that's why I think why I really like to um, celebrate Christmas it's because of the how personal it is how it just represents family friends, loved ones, and really celebrating just being around them, uh, decorating Christmas trees together and stuff and having nice food together. Because I, you know, I'm not a religious person and for some reason when, when people see me as someone who had moved out of Malaysia and married my wife somehow as if I abandoned my religion to go to another religion but surprisingly <laughs> to them, yeah, Amelie is not a religious uh, person. She did not grow up uh, in a church or anything like that, so she's an atheist pretty much. And so I did not convert, I just pretty much left my religion and nothing we do is religious together. We do things out of tradition and uh, celebration. So Christmas to us is that with our family and, and, and friends. So going back to the first time I ever celebrated Christmas I would say it was uh, one holiday that we had uh, because I was studying in Swansea I think it was my first year and my family came to visit my mom my sisters my stepfather they visited uh, me in London so we all stayed in an apartment in London and spent Christmas together so we had a Christmas tree that we didn't put it there I mean the apartment had prepared it already for us as guests and it was nice and then we decided you know what let's exchange gifts you know that's like we're not celebrating Christmas we're just exchanging gifts so we did that and I think that's like the first memory I had of really like us as a family um, chilling together kind of celebrating Christmas not really but we were there together during Christmas in London and you know London is actually really beautiful during Christmas it's, it's a sight to see for sure if you feel like going somewhere to check out Christmas go to London it's I love it because the decorations are beautiful and your shopping is awesome especially if you stay for another day on the 26th which is the day after Christmas you have Boxing Day and Boxing Day shopping is just amazing we have a good time every time like really you get great deals and there's a lot of stuff that they want to just um, get rid of you know clear their stock for the next year so it's definitely an experience. Christmas in London is definitely uh, an advisable thing to do. I've never really truly celebrated Christmas, like really. I just enjoy the vibes, the songs and uh, the decorations and I exchange gifts sometimes with certain people. And then I think the first time I truly celebrated, I think, I mean I did have another dinner with my staff at the resort. Uh, we did 
do a Christmas dinner and we did a secret Santa. And that's like one time we actually celebrated it together. It was fun, for sure. Uh, so, the first time I truly celebrate Christmas with the family is when Amelie invited me to join her and her family in Normandy. So when we met in 2018, that year itself, December, I had Christmas with them and it was just an, um, <laughs> it's a beautiful experience. I, exchanging gifts, eating so much food. I've never had that much food in my life. Just staying together until the middle of the night and then opening gifts. We did Christmas Eve, I think, yeah. We did the dinner on Christmas Eve and celebrated till midnight and then opened our gifts because obviously it was already Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, definitely an experience. And ever since then, I, I have been celebrating Christmas with them uh, for five years now. 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22. This is our sixth year of celebrating Christmas together. Um, that's why I think this year I wanted to really put all of me into celebrating because it is also the end of the year, you know, so it's, it's about reflecting, I think this is it, the final month and uh, moving towards New Year's, I think it's, it's just the time to just look back, reflect and look forward as well, I'm thinking of what I might want to expect the future of next year would be like. So yeah, I just want to just take it easy and enjoy the moment at the same time. Um, make it as memorable as I can, hold on to it as, as, as much as I can because, you know, sometimes we just take things for granted sometimes. And suddenly they're gone, you know, these memories, these celebrations, these things that we do. You never know when any of it could be taken away from you, so that's why I just try my best to uh, truly enjoy it when I can. Yep, so that's it, the history of my Christmas. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you also think about the times you had your celebrations and how you got introduced to, you know, um, Christmas and what you like about it. So yeah, peace. <laughs>